All right, careful. We got a microphone and it's on. It should be. A little bit. Testing, testing. Hello, hello. Anybody want to? Huh? Testing, testing. Testing, testing. There you go. Testing, testing. Okay, it's good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of seconds to Mario Ballpark. For your game. Welcome to this meeting between the Feather River Golden Eagles, coached by Terry Baumgartner, and your Lassen Cougars, coached by Frank Avila. Fans, the California Community College Athletic Association decorum policy is in effect for all games throughout the season. Please be respectful and courteous to each other. The CCCAA strongly encourages all fans to avoid using profane language, taunting, or making inappropriate gestures or nonverbal signs. In addition, any non-potential person that interrupts play will immediately be escorted out of the venue by security staff. Those violating the CCCAA decorum policies will be warned once. Subsequent violations of the CCCAA decorum policy will result in ejection from this host venue. Thank you. And now the starting lineup for the Feather River Golden Eagles, coached by Terry Baumgartner. Leading off and playing center field, number one, Corey McIntyre. Batting second and playing third base, number 27, Ryan Blanchard. Batting third and playing right field, number three, Jared Stevenson. Batting fourth and playing first base, number 20, Carson Lydon. Batting fifth as the designated hitter, number 25, Reed Alexander. Batting sixth and playing left field, number 30, Jordan Davis. Batting seventh and playing shortstop, number four, Jake Madsen. Batting eighth and catching, number 28, Caleb Waits. Batting ninth and playing second base, number five, Kobe Rowling. And pitching for Feather River, number 24, Bridger Holmes. Bree, Toby, Toby. After I, it'll be after I announce who the umpire. Oh, I don't know the but can somebody go down real quick to find the umpires for me? Find the umpires? Hurry. Umpires, find out who's on. Here's the pen. Here, here. Hurry. Hurry, hurry. Folks, going to have your attention. As we all know, in the last few years, our country and the world have endured some trying times, and Lassen Community College is, uh, we've endured the same. In the fall of 1990, an 18-year-old Travis Krauss from Whitefish, Montana, began his collegiate baseball career on this very field as a member of the Lassen College baseball team. And after excelling on the field and as an all-conference player and in the classroom, 
Travis signed a Division I scholarship to attend Louisiana Tech University. As a senior, he transferred to what was then the University of Southwest Louisiana to finish his playing career. In March 2020, Travis was diagnosed with cancer and tragically after fighting the good fight for many years, last fall, Travis succumbed to the disease. On the field with us today is his wife, Olivia, his sons, Brooks and Blaine, and his daughter, Bailey. They have come all the way out here from Steve Abney added, Travis was everything that you would want in a student athlete and personified everything it takes to be a Lassen College player. He is a cougar in every aspect of the word, and he will be missed. Today, former teammate Court Cortez, along with John Deal, Glenn Yonan, and Scott Foreman, who have all coached Travis in the past, are all presenting the family with game jerseys that Travis wore when he was here. Please help us in welcoming Olivia, Brooks, Bailey, and Blaine to Frank Arnaga Field here at Memorial Ballpark. All right, let's go ahead and start their music. I'm going to go ahead and do their, their, our lineup. Right yeah, not the, not the picture music. The, uh, the music we play for the, for the lineup. And now the starting lineup for your Lassen Cougars, coached by Frank Avila. Leading off and playing shortstop, number two, Jack Ingram. Not too, not too much, because I have to talk over it. Batting second, playing right field, number 20, Caden Stutzman. Batting third and playing center field, number 11, Matt Shore. Batting fourth as the designated hitter, number three, Dax Sayer. Batting fifth and playing first base, number 21, Jacob Cook. Batting sixth and playing second base, number 13, Zach Rackham. Batting seventh and playing left field, number 22, Jack McDonald. Batting eighth and playing third base, number 23, Caden Cripps. Batting ninth and catching, number 15, Ashton Davenport. And pitching for the Cougars, number 27, Bronson Chapel. At this time, we ask that you please stand and remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem. Today, the anthem will be sung by Susanville's best of Broadway, Jessica Scroggin. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Thank you. 
Okay, folks, then welcome to today's ball game between Feather River and Lassen College. First pitch coming up real soon. Leading off for Feather River, Corey McIntyre, number one. So the count one on one. Chapel on the mound. Today's starter for Lassen. Foul ball out of play. One and two. Lassen won yesterday's game four to one at Feather River. Just missed inside. 2-2. Two, two. Fouled out of play down the right field line. Count remains 2-2. Two, two. No outs. Top of the first. Ground ball to third. Out number one. Next hitter for Feather River, Ryan Blanchard, number 27. Blanchard, a 247 hitter. Take strike one.
Shows bunt. Punts it to the third baseman. Third baseman Chris makes a great play. Throw on the runner out of first base. Two outs. Jared Stevenson, next batter, 287 hitter. Nine doubles, one home run on the year. Strike one. Slider took it for a strike. Go to the count. Swing and a minute, strike three. At the end of a half an inning, zero, zero. Leading off the bottom of the first inning, Jack Ingraham, starting shortstop, number two. Ingraham's batting 344 on the season with six doubles. Hey, hey, six seconds. Don't go by what he does. Okay. Fastball taken for ball one. Strike. Fastball one one. Starting pitcher Bridger Holmes for Feather Rivers. Got a three five five ERA. Two on one record. Another ball, two and one to Ingraham. Foul ball out of play, evens the count of two, two. Popped up, drifting out of play. Slider taken for strike three. Looked a bit up. One out. 
Batting for Lassen, number 20, Caden Stutzman, 228 hitter, four doubles and two triples on the year. Attempt to drag bunt, foul ball. Slider pull foul out of, down the left field line. O2 count for Stutzman. Fastball away, one, two. Nice slider fouled off. Count remains one, two. Fastball way away, two, two to count. Slider just off the outside part of the plate. Full count. Swinging strike three, another slider. That brings two outs to the inning and Matt Sure to the plate. 318 hitter, two doubles and a home run. Sure. Breaking ball away, ball one. Another slider, take it for a strike. 1-1 one, one to count to Matt Sure. Slider hit the left field for a base hit for sure. So with two outs, runner on first base. Brings to the plate. Dax Sayer hitting 397 on the season with four doubles. Thank you, man. Might be a running opportunity for the Cougs. Fastball ball. Ball. Sure, still second base on the pitch. It counts 2 0. Oh. Hitters count. Feather Rivers catcher goes up to talk to the pitcher. Just getting their second base trying straight, probably. Huh. 
Catcher's back. Umpire's writing down the visit. Two-0 count to the four-hole hitter. Runner on second base. Two zero pitch fouled off down the right field line, out of play. Two one to count. No, feathers. Grounded out to third. Yeah, grounded out. Second that bunny in the third base strikeout. Two second Yeah, it's It was a bad swing, but it's swing. Another hitters count 3-1. Don't expect to see much with an open base, but he might. <coughs> Fly ball right field. Catch is made out number three. At the end of one, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, Chapel's done with his warm-up pitches. The ball is thrown down to second. And Feather River hitter is Carson Leiden, number 20. He crowds the plate slightly. Ball one, fastball away. Fly ball, medium deep left field. Nice catch made right at the wall for out number one. Nice catch right at the fence by Jack McDonald for out number one. Ball was hit pretty well the other way. Nice play. Brings up Reed Alexander, number 25. Reed's a 227 hit on the year with three doubles and two home runs. Bronson throws. Slider. Called strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Slider ball. Very close pitch. 1 1 to count.
Fastball. Hit the right field for a base hit. Feather is one out and a man on. Brings Jordan Davis, number 30, to the plate. 254 with three doubles and a home run. So, oh, pitch. One out, runner on first for Feather River. Slider called strike one. Browns has got good command of that pitch today. Another slider off the plate, 1-1. One, one. So 1-1 one, one pitch. Bronson checks the runner. Delivers. Ball, fastball away, 2-1. Good running count here for Feather if they choose to use it. Pick off throw to first. Just reminding him about him. Wasn't his best pick. More of a casual pick. Come set. The pitch. Fouled off. 2-2. Blowing out too. Oh, it's not blowing out right now. No, it's not. Uh, no. It did carry yeah, it did. Yeah, it just kept going. 2 2 pitch. Bronson sets. Delivers. Ground ball to third. Throws the second. For a one. A good save by the second baseman on Aaron throw by Cripps. So we got the one out at second. Runner is, is safe at first. That brings their plate, Jake Madsen, number four, the shortstop for Feather River. Fastball taken for a strike. 0 1 to count. Showed bunt, pulled it back, slider, called strike, 0-2. Oh, 0-2 the count. Not much of a lead at first base. Slider popped up down the right field line, out of play. Count remains 0-2. Again, a small lead at first base. Throw over there. Jordan Davis at first base. Those have two stolen bases. That pitch taken for a ball count one and two. Slider just outside. Two to the count. Pretty good pitch.
Another throw over to first base. Come set. The 2 2. Fastball fouled off straight back. The pit. Base hit center field with the runner in motion. Runner will go first to third. Ball thrown back into the infield. Base hit for Matson. Fastball up, it looked like. That brings Caleb Waits to the plate. Number 28. Feather rest first and third. <coughs> Madsen at first has five steals on the year. Pretty good threat to be running sometime during this at bat. He leads the team in stolen bases. One other count. Runner did a false break at first base. Counts one on one. The pitch. Fastball fouled off down the right field line. Count one and two. First and third might be a running opportunity right now for the Feather River. Runner steals, hit batsman, 28. Watts got hit. Waits got hit with a pitch. Now we have bases loaded, two outs. It's going to bring up Kobe Rollins. Oh, oh, pitch. Bases loaded. Fastball up, but called a strike. 0 1 to Kobe Rollins. Yeah. Fastball down, 1 1 to count. Rolling in a buck ninety on the year. Need Bronson to bear down here and get this guy out. Fastball again, a little up in the strike zone, but called a strike. Count one and two. <coughs> Just stay there and get out of this. The pitch. Strike, sweep, fastball swinging. Ends the rally. At the end, one and a half. Still 0-0. Zero, zero.
for those of you that might not have seen, we had a uh, pregame ceremony for Travis Krause's family. Travis is a Lawson College baseball player in the 90s who uh, died last fall to cancer, and we, we did a little tribute for his family on the field, and uh, it, was a, it was a nice moment for everybody. Leading off for the Cougars in the top and the bottom of the second, number 21, Jacob Cook. Shows bunt, takes for a ball. Get the boys to help fix it. Ball two. That was well down. Like to get the leadoff runners on whenever you can. Always gets the bees stirring. Ball three. Three and oh. Three zero pitch taken for a strike. Three one now. Well man. Well man. Well man. Ball four. Lassen has a run on first base. Nobody out. Brings up Zach Rackham. Rackham's hitting 200 on the year. Four doubles, a triple, and a, a home run. Good time to bunt. He doesn't show bunt. Takes ball one. Five in a row now from the Feather River pitcher. <laughs> Sorry about it, folks. One five and oh. One oh now. One of the base at the left field. Cougars have runners on first and second. Nobody out. Now batting number 22, Jack McDonald. Jack's the one that made the great catch out in left field. Bunning situation for last one right here, I would assume. Shows bunt, fast pit, fast ball taken up. Ball one. <clears throat> one no -oh pitch. Bunt is popped up to the pitcher. Out number one. Brings up Caden Cribs, number 23. This is one of those times when you need to get something out of this inning, number one for the score, but number two, it's just a momentum swing. If you get first and second with nobody out and don't give up a run, it really gives and, – and don't score a run, it really gives the defensive team a lift in the dugout. You kind of want to stay away from those momentum shifts. Cribs takes a slider. Ball. Very close pitch. 1-0. Cripps 227 on the year, one out, runners on first and second base. The pitch, another slider, one hopper right at third off his chest, picks it up, tries to tag at third, can't get there. Bases will be loaded. Hard hit ball to third that came up and hit the guy in the chest or the uh, throat area, and then he got up and tried to tag his base, and the runner beat him there. Now batting Ashton Davenport, number 15, bases loaded, one out. Feather Rivers infield back. 
Looking for a double play in the middle. Last one would like to see something up in the air deep. Ground ball to short. Goes to second for one on the first. Double play, got them both. Didn't look hit hard enough for that to happen, but it did. And Feather River gets out of the inning with no runs. Okay, so Feather River ended that inning with a 6-4-3 double play to, to end it. Game still 0-0 after two, top of the third, and their leadoff batter, Corey McIntyre, is up. McIntyre's got a little pop in his bat. He's got five home runs on the year. Takes first pitch, strike one. He grounded the third last time. Fastball away, strike two. 0 oh and 2 now. Bronson pretty sharp in the early going. Slider left it a little too much in the middle of the plate. Down the left field line. Trying to stretch to a double and we'll get there standing up. Feather River has run on second. No outs to start the top of the third. That brings up second baseman Ryan Blanchard, who attempted a drag bunt in his last at bat, and Cripps made a nice play at third to throw him out. Got a lot going on now. Got a guy that tried to bunt last time. Leadoff runner on at second. He does not show Bunny takes ball one. The 1 0 pitch was fouled on the right field line. Counts 1 1. McIntyre at second only with a couple stolen bases on the year, so not a huge threat to run. Particularly with no outs. Slider in the dirt. Runner does not advance. Count goes to two and one. Lawson would like to get him to hit something to the left side so the runner doesn't advance. The 2 1 pitch on the way. Fisted down the 
while hit pretty weakly, the first baseman or pitcher couldn't get there, but he does get back into the count of two and two. Blanchard hitting 247 on the year. It's surprising that he wasn't short game a little bit to get that runner in, but now the 2-2 count, they won't be doing any short game. And Bronson's pitch. Fastball grounded to third. Perfect scenario. Out of first base. Runner does not advance. That's going to lead to Jared Stevenson. Struck out his last at bat. Chapel just made up for his 0-2 mistake by keeping that guy at second base. Hopefully he can continue to go. Slider. Take on. Ball hit weakly to right field, falls in for a base hit. The runner second had to wait to see if it was falling in, so he could not score. Feather River has runners on first and third, one out. Brings up Carson Lydon. Flew to left field last time on the nice catch by McDonald. Lawson calls a first and third play. Pitch is called in. Chapel comes set. The 0 pitch. Fastball by him. Swing and a miss. 0 1 to count. Really need a strikeout or a pop up right now. It would really help to get out of this with no runs if that happens right now. It's not a guarantee, but it's a pretty good start. Chapel comes set again. Long look, pitch to the plate, fastball popped up behind the third base dugout, foul and out of play. So it's another good situation for Chapel. Goes 0-2 to the guy. Stevenson, the runner at first, has two stolen bases on the year, so he might be going. 0-2 pitch is not the best time to do it, but you never know. Strikeout, punch out is what we need right now. The pitch hit the batter. Loads the bases. Come on, babe. First drop. Let's go, babe. It's going to be Reed Alexander to the plate. Had a base hit the right field last time. So, again, a ground ball gets you out of the inning here. We just need, need to... to to bear down a little bit more. He got ahead of that hitter. He had everything going for him, and the fastball just got away inside. Looks like he was trying to jam him, which is what they needed. So the O.O. pitch. Pass ball. Caroms off the backstop. Runner cannot advance. That's a break for the Cougars right there. Now it's 1-0. <coughs> Again, Bronson comes set, checks the runners. The 1 0 pitch. Fastball again by the hitter. 1 1. He's working effectively up in the zone right now with his fastball. Good tempo. Comes set, he's going to pitch. Fastball again. Just missed. Two and one to count. Just off the plate. Two one. One out. Bases loaded for Feather River. Fouled off. Two two. (laughs) 
new ball being put in play because it fouled off the cement. Again, with one out, looking for that strikeout pop-up right now. Ground ball double play would help. The pitch. Fastball grounded weakly to second. He looks to second. They do get the out there. No attempt to throw to first base. So they give up a run. Feather takes the lead one to nothing on a fielder's choice. That brings up Jordan Davis. Went grounded out to third last time. Again, we're in a first and third situation. If you get out here with one, he still did a pretty good job considering. So he just has to take care of his business right now. Slider called, strike one. At the end of the inning, wait right there. Oh, one to count. Chapel checks the runners. Pitch. Slider in the dirt, did swing. Check swing, called a strike. Oh, two. <laughs> Runner at first with only one stolen base on the year. Another slider in the dirt. He does steal. No throw attempted. So they ran a first and third steal. He stopped short of the second base, hoping for the throw on the rundown. It didn't happen because of the ball in the dirt. So now you have second and third. Open bag. Counts one, two. Again, Chapel checks the runners. The pitch. Slider fouled off to the third base dugout. Ball was a little up. Second and third. One two pitch. Fastball popped up out of play behind the first base dugout. Again, with an open bag, you can you can you can do a few more things than you could without it. Don't need to give him something good to hit here. Slider low. Two to the count. Good pitch in that situation right there. Excellent pitch for a one-two pitch with an open bag. Did a good job right there executing. What Coach Seth called. The 2 2. Fastball in ball three. Again, a great pitch with an open bag. He's doing a good job. They can get him with a slider here whenever they want. He's He checked swung on one, he swung at another one. The runners base hit. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Line drive right field to end the inning. Lost view of it. Good job by Chapel getting out. Give him a one. At the end of two and a half, the score is one nothing Feather River.
Okay, bottom and third, leading off the Cougars. They're trailing one nothing. is Jack Ingraham. Shortstop. Jack struck out, looking last at bat. <coughs> Takes first pitch, ball one. Jack's been swinging a good bat all spring. Ball two. Pitcher for Fred the River Home seems to be struggling with his fastball, but has pretty good command of the of the of the slider. 2-0 fastball up and in, ball three. Great opportunity for the Cougars to get this leadoff guy on. They can steal, they can short game him over. 3-0 pitch, ball four, low and away. Ingraham's at first, brings up Caden Stutzman. Sussman struck out swinging last time. I'm guessing short game right now, but who knows? Anything could happen. Ingraham is a threat to run at first base. The pitch shows bunt, bunts it to the pitcher on the first base side, flips to the first baseman for out number one. Ingraham does move up to second base. So the batter will be Matt Sure with a runner on second base. Sure got a base hit the left field last time and stole a base. So a low pitch. Slider, good bunt down the third baseline, just rolls foul. <coughs> good idea. He would have been safe if the ball would have stayed fair. Well, won the count to sure. Ingram takes the lead from second. The pitch, slider, hammer to left field, base hit. Ball thrown in. Third baseman can't cut it off. Sure advances to second base. So you have second and third, one out. On a poor relay throw from the left fielder. That'll bring Jack Sayer up. Dax hit a hard line drive to right field in his last at bat. Big hit by Sure right there. Feather Rivers playing their infield back. They'll surrender the run. If the ball's hit to the middle, corners will check. The pitch. Check swing. Called a no swing and goes for ball one. Looked like a swing from here. It's 1 0 again now. Open bag. A lot for the Rivers pitchers can do. The pitch. Slider swung through. 1 1. A lot of sliders being thrown by both pitchers today. Sure, with a big lead at second. And the 1-1 one -one pitch shows bunt and misses it for a strike. Counts 1-2 now. Looks like they were pushed to score. Wasn't a squeeze. It looks like they were doing a safety, safety squeeze. And he missed the bunt. So, again, now we got a 1-2 count. Open bag. Swing and a miss on a slider away. That was ball two. Tough pitch. So again, Lassen has got to squeeze something out of this. Can't pass up scoring opportunities. 
Jacob Kutz, the batter. He walked his last at bat. Some type of off-speed pitch up. 1-0. Ingerham, the runner at third. Sure, the runner at second. Two outs. And the 1-0 pitch. Slider in. 2-0. Good time for Cook to get a good swing off here on a 2-0 pitch. Best swing, no swing. Here's the pitch. Oh, had a really good cut at a waist-high fastball. Fouled off straight back. Just missed it. 2-1. On deck here is Zach Rackham. They have an open bag here. They have an option. We'll see what they choose to do. Took a long time to get this pitch off. And sliders up three and one. Cook 214 on the year. And Feather River taking a long time communicating the signs and pitch clock violation. They took so long that with the new pitch count in, they called ball four on him. He took too long to get rid of the ball. And so he walks. And now again, Zach Rackham, number 13, will be up. Zach had a base at the left field his last at bat. Could use it right now. Yeah, another off-speed pitch, down and in. Catcher made a nice play, keeping it in front of him. One zero. Bases loaded. The pitch, fastball right down the middle. One one to count. Cook at first, sure at second, Ingraham at third, Rackham at the plate, and the 1-1 one, one on the way. Slider, line to short, he, he bobbles it, so can't make the play, last one will score. So a little soft line drive to shortstop, uh, just in the glove and out of the glove, and last one scores a run. So with a score one one, bases still loaded, two outs. Brings up Jack McDonald. Jack popped up a bunch of the pitchers last at bat. The OO on the way. Ball's taken for a ball. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball right there. 1-1. One, one. <coughs> so last and a bit fortunate. But they do the game tied. With a chance to improve on that right now. The count's 1-1 one, in one the pitch. Fastball in the dirt. Count 2-1. The 2 1. Fastball hit the right center field. Center fielder calls the right fielder off and makes the catch to end the inning. But after three full, the score is tied now 1 1.
Okay, welcome back to Frank Kanaga Field at Memorial Ballpark. Top of the fourth, Feather River one, Lassen one. And leading off for Feather River is number four, Jake Matson, base at the center field last time. A bit cool outside. The wind is not what it was forecasted to be, but it's still early. It might show. Chapel's 0-0 pitch. Mike one fastball right there. Taking for a strike. The 0-1. Fastball. Fly ball right field. Came back in and racked him the second baseman. Went out and got it in deep in medium right field. Nice play. One out. That brings Caleb Waits to the plate. Number 28 got hit by a pitch last time. If team goes out and scores a run, you really want to shut down inning right now. And Bronson knows it. Got off to a good start. Fastball up. Ball one. It's been a strike a lot of this game so far. That one might have been just a little bit more up than the rest, but it is a ball. 1-0 the count. The pitch. Slider away. 2-0. 2 pitch on the way. Fastball taken for a strike. 2-1. Yesterday's game was a tight game. Last one winning four to one. Got a two to one edge in the series so far. Today's game has been close. Chapel's pitch. Fouled off into the third base dugout. Two to the count. Pitch to the eight-hole hitter. Up and in. 3-2. Bottom of the order, guys. We got to go after him. Throw strikes and see what happens. Don't want to walk, guys, this time in the order. Pitch. Fastball up. Line to left field. Out number two. That brings the plate. Kobe rolling. Rolling struck out, swinging in his last at bat. Hitting a buck 90 on the year. And the OO pitch. Again, fastball up for a ball. Real close to the ones that have been a strike for the first three innings. But it's 1 0 to the nine hole hitter. Chapel's pitch. Fastball. Jammed him. Slow roll to short. Ingram comes in. Can't come up with the off-balance play. Not sure there would have been a play anyway. Nice pitch by Bronson. So we got, we got uh, two outs running on first base. And now we're back to top of the order. McIntyre will be the batter for Feather River. He has a uh, ground out to third and a double down the left field line. We going to E6 on that? I think that's the base hit. Yeah, base hit. Yeah. Base hit? Yeah. Ground ball in the six hole. Ingraham catch it. Throws to the second baseman for out number three. At the end of three and a half, the score is still 1-1.
All right, we're back here. Bottom of the fourth. Crips the batter for Lassen. Crips, Crips got on his last at bat by an error to third base and now pops this one up that the pitcher catches for out number one. That brings up Ashton Davenport. Davenport into a 6-4-3 double play last time. Takes ball one. The 1-0. Fastball down the middle. <coughs> Call the strike. 1-1. One, one. One, one fouled off over the first base dugout. One out. One, two count. Strike three, swinging. That brings up leadoff batter, Jack Ingram. Jack is struck out looking. His first at bat and got on a base on balls, second at bat. Yeah. He scored a tying run. Now he bats with two outs and nobody on. First pitch, fastball way away, 1-0. Fastball, ball two, low and away. Two old pitches taken inside for ball three. <coughs> ball four. Wasn't even close. So we got two outs. Good base runner gets on first base, and that brings up Caden Stutzman. Caden struck out first at bat, had a nice sacrifice the second at bat. First pitch slider taking strike one, count 0 1. Ingraham a set to run, six stolen bases. Try to get somebody in scoring position with two outs. There's a throw over there. Ingram back safely. Another pick. So we got 0-1. Not sure Featherbird with the new rules. I'm not sure they can throw another pick right now. Okay, a slider taken for a strike. Now the count is 0-2. Again, Ingram a threat to run at first. There's a pick thrown wildly. First baseman makes a nice play. O2 the count. <coughs> Ingraham at first. Not stealing. Ball in the dirt. <coughs> One, two. Tell me if you see him. Okay. Right when he goes. Two out. 
Two outs, one, two to count. Runner on first base for Lassen. Another pickoff over there. Back easily. And the pitch. Slider nubbed it toward the first base dugout. Count raise one, two. Probably expect to see something happen here. Get somebody in motion. Another pick. Angle him back easily. The pitch. Slider low and away. Swung and missed. Batters out. Brings it into the fourth inning. The score. One one. Chapel back out here in the fifth inning. He'll be facing the two, three, four hitters for Feather River. Number 27, Ryan Blanchard to the plate. He attempted a drag bunt for an out in his first at bat and went five to three in his second at bat. Fastball low and away, ball one. One over the count. One one game, top of five. Fastball popped up, out of play. One one count. The 1-1 pitch from Chapel. Fastball taken right down the middle. Four strike. One and two to count. Fastball in. He hits him. Batter stares at the mound for some weird reason. So Chapel had him on the hook and let him off by drilling him with a fastball. That brings up Jared Stevenson, who struck out and base hit the right field in his two previous at bats. So Feather was running on first with nobody out. Chap a little soft throw over to first base, just keeping them honest. Seeing if Feather was going to show bun or not. They did not. Yeah. 
Another throw over. Blanchard back standing up. Did he show one? Did he show one? I don't think he showed one, right? Tell me if it's one. The old pitch. Up and in. He did show bunt. Taken for a ball. So, 1 0 pitch. Another throw over to first base. And Blanchard with five stolen bases, so he is a threat. Chapel goes at plate. Ball's bunted. Foul. So we got a 1-1 one, one count. New play put on right now by Feather River. Blanchard can run. Got no outs. Got the little check throw to first base. A lot of those can be used just to see if Feather River is going to show bun or not. They attempted the bunt last pitch. They didn't show it on the pickoff right now. You have a 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Fastball, again, taken for a strike. A really nice pitch by Chapel. So now it's 1-2. That probably eliminates the bunt. Does not eliminate the, they could, the steal. So probably going to see another throw or two over there. And there's the pitch. Slider popped up just off the first base, carrying out a play. No sign from the dugout. He might have the green line. He might be able to run on his own. Chapel comes set. The pitch. Fastball. Hit pretty well to left field. Way back. Yeah, it's gone. Two-run home run by Jared Stevenson. Feather leads three to one. Chaplet has success with that fastball up, and it looked like a fastball up on that pitch, too, and the guy just kind of caught up to it. And Puts a pretty good barrel on it. Nothing good happens after a season or an inning starting walk. And that's what happened here. So we started again. No outs. The batter is Carson Lydon. Takes ball one. Leiden fouls off the next pitch. He hit a deep fly ball to left field. Ball carried well off the left-handed bat. And now the wind has picked up. It's blowing out straight to left. Yeah. Pitching coach Seth Sorensen going to the mound for a little conference. He's out there making sure Bronson's still okay. Bought by some time for the bullpen to get ready. He's really pitched pretty well. Just made a couple mistakes, strategic mistakes, and then a pitching mistake. Seth's on his way back. They're leaving Chapel in. Top of the fifth, Feather leaving three to one. One one the count to the four hole hitter for Feather River. 
Chase is a breaking ball down. Good pitch. One, two, the count. Pitch on the way. Chases another pitch down and away. Catcher blocks it, tags him out. Out number one. Good recovery right there for Bronson. Brings up Reed Alexander. Base hit the right field and a ground ball to second in his two previous at bats. Ball low and away. The guys hit the ball to the right side, and both of us at bats. Does it again with a little bloop over the first baseman's head. Base hit. That just shouldn't happen. Really good pitch by Chapel. Jammed him and just hit it weakly over the first baseman's head. That I believe the second baseman tracked down. Jordan Davis, a batter now for Feather. Five to three and a F8 in his two other at bats. Slider down, ball one. Runner at first has two stolen bases on the year. The 1 0 pitch. Fastball right down the middle. 1 1. Got to keep it right here. Keep the Cougars in it. The pitch. Slider swing and a miss. One to the count. Run our first base. Feather River leading three to one in the top of the fifth. The one two pitch. Slider swinging a miss strike three. That brings up Jake Matson. Matson had a base hit to center field and a pop up to second. Shows bunt, but called strike. Oh one. That's ball in, taken for ball one. One one to count. And the pitch. Fastball again, taken for a strike. Maybe middle away, but a really good pitch. Puts Bronson ahead one and two. The one two pitch. Fastball. Bronson fields his position well going to his right. Yes, sir. Throws accurately to first base. Out number three. Nice play by Bronson. Feather Rivers runner was running on the pitch. At the end of four and a half, the score is 3 1 Feather River.
Leading off the bottom of the fifth for last, and will be Matt Shore. Matt's got two singles and a stolen base so far today. Cougars can use a leadoff runner on. Bridger Holmes is still out there for Feather River. <coughs> Starts off with ball one. The 1-0. Ooh, fastball way away. 2-0 count. Two zero taken for a strike. Fastball middle away. Counts two and one to sure. Fastball taken for a strike. Questionable call. Looked a little down. Nonetheless, two two count. Slider popped up. The pitcher calls for it. Gets it for out number one. Brings up Dax Sayer for the Cougars. Hey, hey, how often do you see a pitcher catch two pop-ups in the same game? I don't know. Yeah, usually it's someone else to do it. Yeah, like someone always running in. So one out in the Cougar fifth. Dexter takes the first fastball, 0 1. He, he lined to right field and struck out. Slider down and in. Almost hit him. Moves the count to 1 1. Holmes with the pitch. Another slider and does hit him with it. So with one out, the Cougars have a runner on first base. 5-0 hitter Jacob Cook coming up. Coming into the series, Cook's hitting 214. First pitch, fastball hit pretty well to center field, but got under it just a bit. Center fielder makes the catch short of the warning track. Just missed that one. That was two outs. That brings up second baseman Zach Rackham. Rackham with a base hit and an E6. So Rackham takes first pitch fastball for a strike. And Sayer can run at first base. Is a threat to steal. Two outs, 0 1. Pick off throw to first base. Back safely. Oh, one, two outs for the Cougars in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch. Up and away. One, one. Slider, kind of a more of a get me a head pitch. He took it for strike two. It was a, a bit high, but called a strike. One, two, two outs. Sarah at first base. The one-two pitch. Fastball low and away. 
Two two. Let me know. Let me know. Holmes comes set the pitch slider popped up right side. Running out of room. Now it comes back because of the wind, and the first baseman makes the play. Inning over for the Cougs at the end of five. 3 1 Feather River. All right, so to start the sixth inning, the Cougars are making a pitching change. Brady Glenn's coming in to pitch. Fastball, curveball, changeup guy. Gets a lot of fly ball outs. And leading out for Feather River is Caleb Waits. Got hit by a pitch. And he had a line drive to left field in his two at bats. Batting in the eight hole. Brady gets ahead 0 1. Swing and a miss, strike two. And he strikes out Feather Rivers batter with an 0-2 fastball painted on the outside black. So we got one out. Brings up Kobe Rowling. Strike out and base hit. So far. Lefty lefty matchup, breaking ball from Brady. Called a ball. Missing a pretty good spot right there. So the 1 0 pitch again misses on the outside part. 2 0. One out, nobody on the 2 0 pitch. Called low, ball three. 
Thrown some quality pitches, but they've missed, and now he's in a 3-0 hole. High. Ball four. So Feather has a base runner with one out. Back to the top of the order with Corey McIntyre. It's a part of the game now where everybody's on a short leash. The bullpen is ready to go, and they won't let anybody dig too big of a hole. Fastball swung on and fouled back. 0-1. Pick off throw over. Safe. Rolling with only one stolen base on the year. The 0-1 pitch, way up and away. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Brady looks at the runner. Another pick off. Back safely. Counts 1-1 one, one to McIntyre. The pitch. Something off speed. Foul straight back. 1-2 and two the count. McIntyre 1-3 for three with a double down the left field line. Another pick off the first base. Back safely. That could be Coach Seth calling him. Maybe he's doing it on his own. But they're showing some concern for the guy at first base. The pitch is on the way. Breaking ball in the dirt. Blocked and swung and a miss for strike three. So we have two outs now. Going to bring up Ryan Blanchard. Blanchard 0 for 2 on the day. We have two outs with the runner on first base. Fastball away, ball one. The 1 0 pitch. Fastball away, taken for a strike, 1-1. One, one. Feather Rivers guys seem to be questioning quite a few calls at the plate. I'm not sure the umpire appreciates that very much. 1-1 one, one pitch. Thrown low. Runner tried to advance on the drop ball by the catcher, but the catcher throws him out. So there we go. At the end of five and a half, Feather three, Lassen one.
All right, bottom of the sixth. Jack McDonald leading off. Jack's over for two. Takes the first pitch in the dirt. Ball one. Somebody there for the baseball team. Home still out there for Feather River in the sixth. J-Max got a 1-0 pitch. 1-1, taking for a strike. Cougars really need a leadoff run batter on right now. Jack's the guy to do it. The 1-1 pitch from Holmes. Fastball up and away, 2-1. Feather River's got activity in their bullpen. Slider popped up outside of first base, fouling out of play. 2-2 with McDonald at the plate. The 2-2 pitch. Fastball, low and away. Ball three. So here's the payoff pitch. Slider taken for a ball. Puts the leadoff runner on. Good at bat by McDonald. That brings Cripps to the plate. Cripps 0 for 2 in his two previous at bats. I'm calling short game here, but we'll see what happens. Cripps 227 coming into the series. They show bunt. Wild pitch. Wild. Hit him. Pitch hit him. So now the Cougars have first and second. Nobody out. That's going to bring up Ashton Davenport. I guarantee you it will be a short game situation right now. Davenport with a 6-4-3 and a strikeout in his first two at-bats. Great situation. Good opportunity for the Cougars. He shows sacrifice bunt the pitch. Fouled off at the plate. I think there's zero question that he'll be bunting again. Runners at first and second, no outs. Good opportunity for the Cougars there. Nine hole, and then the top of the order coming up after him. Shows it again. Bunts it to first base. They'll get the – sorry, he bunted to the pitch, and they'll get the out of first base. So now we have second and third, one out, top of the order with Jack Ingraham coming up. Jack gets a strikeout and two walks. Comes up in a key time of the ball game. Feather River playing the middle back. Corners are in. Now the catcher's going to go out and talk to the pitcher. This is going to be a talk, but it's also going to give the bullpen time to go. And now out comes Terry Baumgartner to join the conversation. Probably to make the change, but we'll see. Yep, and the call has gone to the bullpen. So with the one out, Holmes leaves. Did a decent job. I need his number and his name. The pitcher? Yeah. So it is second and third one out. The pitcher comes in. Spencer Holland is the one coming in the game to pitch. 
the Cougars will have runners at second and third when he gets done with his warm-up pitches. And Jack Ingram will be the batter. Okay, pretty critical time for the Cougars right now. Runners are second and third with one out. They got to get something out of this. Hauling the pitcher in for Feather. Fastball changeup slider guy. Ground ball in the middle. Should score a run for the Cougs. So the defense is set. Cripps has a good lead at second. Nobody holding him on there. And Holland comes set. The pitch. Slider taking strike one. Oh, one the count. Holland's tempo is considerably different than the previous pitcher. Another slider swinging with strike two. Takes a lot of time. The umpire is checking to see if he's taking too long for the watch. The 0-2 pitch. Base hit left field on a slider left in the middle of the plate. One runs in. The second run's coming. The throw of the plate. Safe of the plate. Tie game. Ingraham makes it hurt on an 0-2 mistake to tie the game here in the bottom of the sixth. Brings the plate, Caden Stutzman. Close play at the plate, but umpire calling him safe. Now Cougars tie the game with one out here in the sixth. Ingraham is a threat to steal. Fastball up. Ball one. That was a big mistake right there, and Ingraham made him pay for it. One oh pitch. Fly ball right field line foul. Counts one oh one. Stutzman zero for two. Two strikeouts and a sack. Expect to see somebody in motion soon. The delivery, ground ball to short. Flips the second for one. On to first. Now nah, he beat it. Two outs. Stutzman will be on first base. And sure will be the batter. Sure's had a good ball game so far. Two base hits. And the stolen base.
Stutzman runs well, could steal a bag. Tie game, two outs. Not a bad time to run him. The old runner stealing. Ball's low. Catcher throws off. Stutzman has a stolen base. So now we have a 1-0 count. Two outs, runner on second. They're not going to see him. They are going to walk him. So they walk Stutzman. Excuse me. They walk sure. They walk sure to, to face. Is that pitcher? Fisher, yeah, Logan. So hitting for Sayer is going to be Logan Fisher. Logan's hitting 280 on the year coming into the series. Two outs. Cougars need a two out knock right now. Stutzman runs good. Should score on any base hit to the outfield. The OO pitch. Slider, strike one. Swing and miss. Cook on deck. A one to Fisher. The tempo has really been drugged down right here. And I don't think the Feather River's favor. Then the pitch. In the dirt gets by him. Runners will go to second and third. Okay, now second and third, one-on-one count, two outs. Sure runs exceptionally well at second two. Again, so a base hit should score two. The pitch, slider taken. One, two, the count. Again, the Cougars in need of a two-out base hit. One-two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike three to end the inning. But the Cougars take advantage, score two, tie the game, going into the top of the seven to score. Feather River three, Lassen three.
Okay, Noah Koberger now pitching for the Cougars. Ball one in the dirt. The batter for Feather River is Ryan Blanchard. 0 for 2 on the day with a hit by pitch. 1 0's the count. Again, Cougars need a shutdown inning here. Shows drag, pulls back, ball two. About a 58 footer. Here comes the two delivery, shows it again, pulls it back, called strike on a fastball. So now 2 1. Stand is going to remain open between, between games. Oh, yeah. A 2-1 pitch. High hopper over the third base was head down the left field line. He rounds first, heading for second. Throw comes in. It'll be a leadoff double for Blanchard. That brings the play Jerry Stevenson for Feather River. Jared's two for three with a home run and a base hit. No outs, runner on second for Feather. And the pitch. Up and in, ball one. And that'll bring a visit from head coach Frank Avila. He's already made a call to the bullpen. And Trevor Laughlin's the pitcher is going to be coming in. So Trevor Laughlin will be pitching. Trevor's one and three on the season in 10 appearances. Has a 3.92 ERA. He's kind of been Coach Frank's go-to guy. He comes in a lot of key situations, and this is another one. He'll be pitching with a runner on second base, no outs, and a 1-0 count to a three-hole hitter. I'm thinking no short game for Feather. But you never know. <coughs> Pretty good time for him to swing the bat right now. Trevor's got an open base to work with. And the 1-0 pitch. Strike one. Did he swing and miss? Got him a swing and miss on that pitch. I'm not sure what it was. Uh-oh. Now, as he goes to deliver, the ball slips out of his hands, and I believe it's going to be called a balk. And the runner goes to third. Infield's playing in. No, it should be 1-1 still.
Another break ball called a strike. One, two. Great pitch. Again, Lassen cutting off the run at the plate. Ball's in the dirt. Two, two. Laughlin, basically a fastball slider guy. Throws the ball in the dirt again for ball three. So now it's 3 2. Open, two open bags. No outs for Feather River. They're a three hole hitter. And the pitch. Down to short. Looks to run her back. Throws to first base. Got out number one. Nice job. So now we have one out. Brings up Carson Lydon to the plate. 0 for 2 with a hit batsman. He did it a real deep fly ball to left field. Gavin, do you know what it's called? Again, Laughlin has come in throwing strikes. O one 1 pitch, or excuse me, 0 pitch goes for strike one. If we can get out of this, it'll be a big lift for the Cougars. And the... I didn't see it where to go. Ground ball to second, mishandled by a second baseman. Ingraham fills the carom and throws the runner out of first base, but Feather River does score the run. So Feather River takes the league four to three. That brings Reed Alexander to the plate. Reed's two for three. Nobody on base. Fly ball to center field. Caught. Cougs are out of the inning, but do surrender the tie. Trail four to three. Okay, leading out the bottom of the seventh for the Cougars is Jacob Cook. 
Jacobs has been on base two out of three times. Walked twice when, as a fly ball to center field. That was hit relatively well. Cougars find themselves trailing four to three. They still got nine more outs to go. They're fine. <clears throat> Need something going, though. Need an answer back right now. First pitch. Up. Ball one. Unplug it. Unplug it. One zero. Cook waiting for the pitch. He's on the way, taken up again. Two and zero. We're trying, Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. You're not dicking off. If you're dicking around, it's one thing. Here comes the pitch. Taken. 2-0 pitches taken for a strike. Fastball right down the middle. Might, might be wanting him to Joaquin's fixing it. work around it. Make him throw another one. Still ahead in the count. 2-1. to one. And the pitch. Up again. 3-1. Exactly what the Cougars need right now. Exactly what they need. Now he either gets a great pitch or he takes it. Need to get runners on, and then I would expect to see a base runner for him, but maybe not. That's a count. Three one. And ball four. Great job by Cook getting on base again. That's going to bring Zach Rackham to the plate. Zach's one for three. Again, I would, I would, I would pretty much guess that there's going to be some short game going on here. Cook running at first base, no outs. Cougars down a run. Shows bunt, fouls it off. Oh, one to count. Umpire calls timeout to let the batter set. Batter digs back in. Holland comes set. Checks the runner. <coughs> Pitches on the way. Breaking ball fouled off. One one to count. No outs, right? No outs. Another pitch fouled off. Yeah, I'm trying to get it right now. I don't want to put it in the wrong spot again. Yes, Lord. Again, I got to tell you, the tempo on Feather Riverside has slowed drastically. Went from being a very crisp and clean, quick game to a, a, a game that's dragging just a little bit. Fastball jammed him. Pitcher can't make the play. Second baseman comes in, makes the outbounds play. Underhand throw to first. Got an out. So it's not the way it was drawn up, but the, but the Cougars do get a runner on second base with an out. Who's 16? And there'll be a pinch hitter for Jack McDonald. Nathan Rowley would be hitting. Rowley's hitting 274 coming into the series. Okay, so we got a runner on second, one out. Nathan Raleigh, the pinch hitter. Holland checks the runner, goes to the plate. First pitch taken for a strike, 0 1. Yeah, I was on the soccer side. And you have to put on a certain. 
and it wasn't on the setting, so it was going to stop here. Was, was Cook still the runner at second. The wind has picked up considerably. And the old one on the way, breaking ball low and away. Ball two. Uh, excuse me, ball one. Let's go, roll it. Let's go, Ben. Got this. Ball one checks the runner again. The delivery. Hopped up outside of first base. Wind is bringing it back, and it goes for out number two. Let's go, Chris. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Ryan. Anybody can. That brings Chris to the plate with two outs, a runner at second. Chris is 0 for 2 on the day, and he has a hit by a pitch. Bottom of seven, key at bat here. Up and in, ball one. I think it was the time that time. You already pissed off her. I mean. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike one. Runs the count to one on one. Here you go, Chris. Let's go swing through it right here, big. Feather clinging to a one run lead, tying run at second base. Two outs. Step up, pitcher steps off to check the runner. <clears throat> now he comes set. The pitch outside, two and one. Let's go, Chris. Pick up the big hit right here, big. The pace has slowed, folks. We got 2-1 on the way. In the dirt, blocked by the catcher. Runner could not advance. But the count goes to 3-1. Three one on the way. Looked like a slider. Couldn't really tell. It was a little up in the zone, but it called strike. So it goes to three and two. Need to find a way to get that next hitter up. And here's the pitch. Pulled foul and out of play. Tying run to second and Jacob Cook. 3 2 count to Caden Cripps. Kuzi did a big hit. Fastball fouled off. Hanging in tough. Holler comes set. Checks the runner at second. 3-2 delivery. Up and in ball four. Be a pinch hitter for Ashton Davenport. Number 10, Curtis Lindsay.
Now Terry Brown went out there for Feather River, went and talked to the home plate umpire, and now he's headed out to the mound. I, he was probably checking either how many visits they've already had or if it might be a medical thing, in which case it doesn't count as a trip. No trainer went out there, so I'm not sure that's the case, but it seemed odd that he would come talk to the home plate umpire before he went out to the mound. The infield met. They're breaking up. <laughs> Coach Avila is meeting with all the runners, the hitter and the on-deck hitter. Briefing them on something. This will be a charged offensive meeting, I'm sure, since the defense is already done. Yeah. This is probably the worst over over in If you mess up one time, one thing, you have to be so You can see what the focus is. coming to the plate. All right. He's hitting a buck 11 on the season. Does have a home run. It's a big at bat right now for Curtis and for the Cougars. Again, tying run at second base, bottom of seven, two outs. Again, the win has increased. Runners on first and second after the walk to Cripps. Feather River Hollins comes set, pitches the oh, oh, breaking ball hung. Curtis got a heck of a swing off on it, but fouled it off. Well, that was a mistake right there that could have could have changed things. Curtis just missed it. I got to believe the Feather River pitcher is pushing that time limit almost on every pitch right now. And here comes the 0-1. Taking fastball up <coughs> for a ball. Count one one. Again, cook it second with the tying run. The pitch low and away. Ball two, two and one. Crips the runner at first. He would be the go ahead run. Curtis can't take the ball out of the yard. But we'll settle for a base hit right now. 2-1 to Lindsey. Pitches on the way. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Big moment, big pitch right here. Holland delivers the 2-2. Swing and a miss, strike three on a slaughter away. So the Cougars rally falls a bit short. At the end of seven full, Feather River four, last and three. All right, top of the eighth. 
Feather River Jordan Davis will be the batter. Jordan 0 for 3. Feather looking for an insurance run and Lassen looking for a shutdown inning. Laughlin, first pitch, 0 1. Nice pitch. Gavin, did you ever find the name of that song? I might be able to hear you. Just don't sing that wrong. Yeah. Second pitch, taking for a ball. Count 1 1. Laughlin with the pitch. Oh, jammed him. First baseman catches a pop up. Lassen gets the lead off out. And that'll bring to the plate Jake Matson. Jake is one for three. That was a good jam job right there by Laughlin. First pitch strike. Down and away, ball one, one and one. Laughlin is just the exact opposite of what Feather River's been doing. He works at an extremely quick tempo. And the one one on the way. Uh, close pitch taken for a ball. Drew Gill is now catching for the Cougars. The two one fouled off, two two. Laughlin's pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. Runs it to 3 2. Fastball on the outside corner called strike three. Again, an incredibly great tempo set by Laughlin. That brings Caleb Waits to the plate. He's 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch. Now Feather calls for an offensive timeout. Sure, that's just not a whole lot to that meeting. They're just trying to slow Laughlin down. Because he, he is working fast, and it's uncomfortable for the other team. They're barely ready by the time he lets go of the ball. and With the hitter having to address the pitcher early and the pitcher having to be ready, that you can't really step out anymore. So it was just a thing to slow Laughlin down a little bit. Here's the pitch. Oh, oh, goes for a called strike. Second pitch jammed him. Ground ball to third. Grips across the field to Cook. Out number three. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Cougars trailing four to three.
All right, Feather River went to the bullpen again. They brought in number 22, Ian Hoslett. He's 2 and one with a 4.60 ERA. He's striking out about a guy in inning, but he also has eight walks and nine hit batsmen. So command seems to be a little bit of a struggle for him. So hopefully we can get that done. Good time of the order. We got leadoff batter, Jack Ingram, leading things off. So it's a good time for the Cougs. So Ingram takes first pitch for ball one. Cougs in dire need of a base runner right now. Up two and one, two and zero the count. Wouldn't be a surprise if he takes another pitch here. Guy has command issues. Fastball for strike. He did take it. Smart thing to do in, in the bottom of the eighth. Make the guy throw strikes. And the two one on the way from Hoslet. Up, ball three. So this is this is what the doctor ordered right now. You get a three one pitch to hit or a ball to take for ball four. And the pitch is on the way. Again, strike down the middle. That's okay. Full count. This is not a bad strategy right there by Engraham. So make the guy throw strikes. You're still going to get the same pitch on the 3-2 that you would have got on 3-1. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a fastball. Out number one for the Cougs. That's going to bring up Caden Stutzman. Caden is 0 for 3 on the day with a sacrifice. Two strikeouts. First pitch up and in, ball one. Again, a lot of balls from this guy. Said earlier, eight walks, nine hit batsmen, 15 punch outs for Hassett. Again, goes 2-0, and fastball up. No activity in the Fifth River bullpen. And the 2-0 on the way. Strike, swing and a miss, and a fastball up. Might have been ill-advised. It looked like ball three. Here comes the 2-1. Fastball right down the middle. Strike two. So we got 2-2 two, two count. Now Hotzler works at a very quick tempo as well. Breaking ball. It goes for a ball. Really good pitch. But drives it to three and two. I think that ball call surprised everybody. But here comes the 3-2. Fastball fouled off down the first baseline. Really need a good at-bat right here. Take advantage of things. Then the pitch. Breaking ball popped up. Catcher's underneath it. Makes the catch for out number two. That'll bring Matt Scher to the plate. Matt can run a ball out of the park as well. He's got the wind in his favor. He would be the tying run. It's been a well-played game by both teams, a tight battle. One-run game here in the bottom of the eighth with two outs. Cougs trailing by one in the pitch. Strike one. The old one from Hoslet. Away. One on one. Base hit. Base hit right field for sure. Nice piece of hitting. So we got the tying run on first base with one out, and then it's going to bring back up to the plate Logan Fisher who struck out his last plate appearance. Okay. 
down a run in the eighth is not a typical time you would be stealing second base, but sure is very capable. He runs well, gets good jumps. Fisher at the plate. Hoslitz 0-0 oh, oh, on the way. Breaking ball for a ball. If he goes. Average lead for sure. He's running foul ball right over the first base dugout. So Coach Frank did choose to put sure in motion. <coughs> Count is one on one. Again, sure the tying run at first base. Fisher the go ahead run at the plate. Count one one. Break them all taken. 2 1 count. The 2 1 pickoff attempt. Just wanted to keep them honest. They weren't looking for an out there, it wasn't that kind of move. Just letting him know he's over there. He ran earlier in the count. Might do it again. The two went on the way. He's running. Swinging a miss by Fisher. And sure, it's safe at second base. Something got dropped. I My vision was blocked for just a second, but the tying run is now at second base. Fisher at the plate with a 2-2 count. Cook on deck. <coughs> Got an open bag, but Feather River is not looking to pitch around him. Two two. Base base hit up the middle. The, the run will score easily. The Cougs have tied the game in the bottom of the eighth. And Fisher ends up at second base. So now after the tie, now the go-ahead runs at second here in the bottom of the eighth. Nice piece of hitting by Logan Fisher. Ties the game for the Cougars. Now they're going to walk Cook on purpose because of the open bag. And that'll, be, that'll bring Zach Rackham up to the plate. Rackham one for four on the day. Okay, go ahead, run a second base. Insurance at first, and rack him at the plate. One for four on the day. Fastball taken for a strike. 0 oh, 1. Four for a tie. Hustle checks the runner. The pitch. Ball's hit pretty well to left field. It's way back, way back. Yeah, it's right gone. Yes, the ball's out. Yeah, right Cougs up by three in the bottom of the eighth. Oh. Ball was hit really, really well. Cougs up 7-4. After the three-run home run by Zach Rackham, Nathan Raleigh will be at the plate. Big time turn of events for the Cougs.
Rollins shows Bunt. Takes him for a ball. Still no activity in Feather River's bullpen. Ball two. Raleigh gets a good 2-0 swing off, but fouls it off over the backstop. <laughs> Two outs, nobody on. Ball three, up. Looking ahead, Feather River will have their nine hole to lead off the top of the ninth, then to the top of the order. 3-1 taken away before strike. Got 3-2. 3-2 is fouled off down the first baseline. Logan started off. So... 3-2 fouled off again. Now, the one thing you got to worry about is how long the layoff was for Laughlin. Sometimes long innings sets a pitcher off, but he works at such a quick tempo, he'll probably be okay. But hopefully he's doing some throwing or some running or something. And the 3-2 on the way, ball four, up and in. That's going to bring up Caden Cripps. With two outs. Strike one. Raleigh can run. Might might start him. Two outs here in the eighth. Breaking ball in the dirt. Swing and a miss. And Raleigh does not advance. O2 the count to Cripps. And Raleigh on first. The O2. Swing through a slider, strike three, foul tipped into the catcher's glove. But the Cougs did what they had to do. They came up with a big inning. Take a three-run lead going to the top of the ninth. Again, Feather River will have nine, one, two coming up in the ninth. All right, here we go. Drew Bradbury now playing first base for the Cougars. Stetsman's in left, and Raleigh's in right. Laughlin is still the pitcher. Out come Coach Baumgartner, so somebody's probably going to hit this for the 9 litter to start the inning off. We'll get those changes to you in a minute. <coughs> What number we got, guys? 34. What is it? 34 looks like. Abel Gonzalez. Okay, so number 34, Abel Gonzalez will be leading off. Pitch hitting for Rawling. 294 hitter on the year. Got a little bit of pop on his bat. And here comes. Nah. Again, Laughlin working so quick. 
that the umpire actually stepped out on him. Did not did not count it for a strike or a ball. So it's still 0-0. Here comes the old delivery. Fastball up in the zone, but called a strike. O2. Oh, What's that? Pretty good at this. That's a good one. O2 oh, on the way. Up and out. One, two. Just wasted that pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. Two, two. Okay, here comes the 2-2 from Laughlin. In the dirt, ball three. Now, the one thing you don't want to see here is ball four. A solo home run is better than ball four. It just has to do with momentum and everything else. It just gives you an eerie feeling. So here comes the 3-2 pitch. Ball four. One thing you really don't want to see. But you got a cushion. You can make things happen still. You're not yet where you can give up outs, runs for outs, but you're getting close to that time. Maybe the layoff did hurt Laughlin. Who knows? But he was not as sharp on that as he was in his first few outings. So here comes the OO. Breaking ball low and away. 1 0. Running on first base. And Coach Abil is going to make a move to the, to the mound. He hasn't made a change yet. Probably just going to settle him down. Beginning, a lot of emotion went on. Just going to give him a little breather time, let him let him just kind of catch his breath and let his heart stop beating so fast. So he did walk the leadoff batter. He is 1-0 to the next batter. Feather is down by three runs. So the tying run is on deck. The umpire is going to go up and break up the meeting. And before he gets there, Frank ends it himself. It's a good idea right there. Just get him to calm down and settle in. Feather River does have their leadoff batter up, Corey McIntyre. McIntyre is one for four. And a perfect strike. 1-1. One, one. So hopefully the timeout helped. Cougs won a ground ball. But we'll trade it for any out right now. Breaking ball. One, two. Very nice pitch. Took it first. Took it. So feathers in a hole. One, two here. Down three in the ninth. Runner on first, nobody out. And the one two. Fastball fouled off. <laughs> Breaking ball in the dirt, two two. Nice, nice job by backup catcher Drew Gale. Kept the ball in front of him. Runner did not advance. And here's the pitch. Ball's hit well to center field. We got a guy there. It's off the wall. And the Southern River will have runners at second and third. Nobody out. After a line drive double off the center field wall by leadoff hitter Corey McIntyre. That brings Ryan Blanchard to the plate. Ryan is one for three with a double with four, with a double. 
He is the tying run. First pitch, breaking ball strike, 0-1. This is the only guy that matters, the guy to play right now. The other two do not matter at this point. Needs to bear down, get this guy breaking ball in the dirt. Another nice job by Drew Gale, keeping it in front of him. Keep it up, Gale. So count goes to one on one. And here comes the one one. Up. Take him for a ball, two one. First base open, tying run at the plate, no outs. Fastball right there, called strike. Count goes to 2-2. Any out right now is a big lift for the Cougars. And here comes the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Through the, through the, the shortstop dives, couldn't make the play. Feather scores two. The score is now seven to six. The tying run at first base, no outs. <laughs> There's some activity in Lassen's bullpen. Jared Stevenson takes ball one. They are not still in short game to get the tying run into scoring position. They're going to let him swing, and the 1 0 pitch is on the way. In the dirt, gets past the catcher. Now the runner goes to second base. So it's 2-0 to Stevenson, tying run at second, first base open, no outs. Drew Bedberg goes around to calm Laughlin down. It's a good move on his part. Again, the ideal thing would be a ground ball to the left side so the runner doesn't advance. The 2 0 is. Looked like a slider taken for ball three. Again, it, the Cougs do have an open base, but you, you're not really looking to walk this guy to put the go ahead run on first. The 3 0 delivery from Laughlin. Strike. Taken. Now you got a couple 3 1 pitches. The three ones it looked like another off speed pitch, like a, a, a slider. He started it at the right handed batter's hip and broke it across the plate. Ideal for a three one pitch because they're not sitting on that. But here comes a three two ball four in the dirt, gets past the catcher. The runner will advance the third, batter runner will be safe at first. So it goes as a strikeout in the book. But he's safe at first. Feather has runners at first and third. No outs. Gale calls the first and third play. Four hole hitter. Carson Linden is up. And here's the OO. Breaking ball hit deep to center field. Way back, way back. It is gone. It is gone. So the Cougs trailed three, right? 10 to 7. Still no outs. Top of the ninth. No. 
Six. Yeah, six. my mistake. Sorry, it's nine seven. They were still down a run with the three run home run was hit, putting them up to my fault. So Laughlin throws the first pitch, fastball link. Chris makes a dive and play to the chalk. One hops Bradbury, who makes a nice play on a foul ball. The umpire has now called it foul. Nice play on both ends on a diving play by Cribs and a scoop by Bradbury, but it's all for naught. The count will go to 0 1. Still no outs. Coog's now trailing by two. But they've been coming back. They've been coming back all year long from these situations. There's no quitting them. So after Coach Frank's discussion with the home plate umpire, Laughlin throws a breaking ball up, but he got a fly ball out of it to center field. That'll be out number one. Frank just wanted to let the umpire know he didn't think that was a foul ball. And the discussion was had, and it's over, and Laughlin composed himself to get the first out that he needed. And we have another pinch hitter right now. It's going to be... Eric Romero batting 220. One out right now. And looking ahead to bottom of the ninth, the Cougars will have their nine hole leading it off. It's Drew Gale's spot right now. Might see a pinch hitter in that role. So here we go. One out. Oh, offering for strike, taken down, but a good pitch. Oh, one. The oh, one offering, ground ball to second base. Throws at Bradbury for out number two. Again, the, the Cougars are not unfamiliar with being down late, and they, they always have something in them to get back in the game. They got 9-1-2 coming up in the bottom, and the OO 0 from Laughlin, strike one called. Now you got the good thing is, too, Feather Rivers pitchers had a long wait. Laughlin had a long wait in the bottom of the eighth. Showed Bunt, took it for a strike. Counts 0-2, and now Feather Rivers pitchers had a long wait. Oh, left one up, got a base hit, left center field. Ball comes in a second base single for Jake Madsen. If you need to right now, keep shot of trap. We'll have another pinch hitter on the way for Feather River. Okay. Haven't seen anything yet. So the pinch hitter will be Kobe Roberts hitting 279 on the year. He's got some pop in his bat with two home runs. Laughlin will throw his OO with the runner on first base, two outs, breaking ball fouled off straight to the backstop. O one one the count. In the 01. Oh, he left it up a little bit, fouled off down the right field line, fouling out of play. So we got two outs, two strikes, runner on first base. Here's the 02. Fastball down the middle of the plate, fouled off down the right field line. I go hooking, slicing foul. So the count remains 02. 
a little too good for an 0-2 pitch, but didn't hurt him. So we redo it all again. Breaking ball away, 1-2. And strike three fouled off into the catcher's glove. So we go to the bottom of the ninth, trailing two. And the Cougars will have 9 1 2 coming up. All right, so here we go. Bottom of the ninth. Lassen down two. And the pitch hit is going to be Juan Perez for Drew Gale. Perez in the buck 67. Part time starter both over the last two years. Got the iPad still? iPad? He knows his job. His job is to get on base any way he can. Got to start it. Might as well start it right now. So, again, like we talked about, Lawson had a long rest in the bottom of the eighth, and, he, and it, it might have hurt him a little bit. So has Hoslett. He had a long rest in the top of the ninth, and so maybe he'll be less effective. He has a history of walking and hitting people. The first pitch, fastball, taking first strike. They might be taken until they have a strike in this situation. Maybe not. Here comes the 0-1. Breaking ball looked up, went for strike two. So here we go, 0-2. Hostage delivery. Breaking ball away, one and two. Cougs need to get something started here. Oh, man. 0-2, oh, a 1-2, oh, two. now to 2-2, two, two, and that pitch could have hit him. And here it is. Oh, up now. Now he goes to 3-2. Perfect scenario right now. Base hit, ball four. Oh, and he swung it. Well, it might have been ball four, but he hit a slow hopper to third, who makes a play to first baseman and one out. I think the ball was up. I think he might have been ball four, but now with one out, with the Cougs trailing by two, Jack Ingraham will be the batter. Jack's had a nice day, been on base three times with a base hit. Takes ball one. It's not too late because the on-deck hitter is always going to be the tying run. So this rally can start at any time. It doesn't have to start with no outs, and, it, it, and you can start it with two outs. Just got to get one guy on, and the, the, the next batter is always going to be the tying run. Jack gets a ground ball into six hole. Base hit. So the Coos got something going.
So Jackie gets a base hit with one out in the ninth, bringing up Caden Stutzman to the plate. Again, unlikely that they'll be trying to steal a base here. They're chasing two. We have one out. Stutzman the batter. Oh, oh, pitch swung on and missed. Fastball up. Oh, one. So they're not taking until they have a strike. That's pretty clear now. And the 0-1 on the way. Breaking ball taken. 1-1. One, one. Tying run at the plate in Stutzman. And the 1-1 pitch in the dirt. Ball two. Again, all reads in the dirt are going to be only if it caroms off the catcher. You can't take a chance on a bad read and get thrown out. So Ingram will be very conservative at first. And get a 2-1 slider that he fouls off weakly down the first baseline. So the count goes to 2-2. One out. Bottom of the ninth. Cougs down two. And the 2-2 on the way. Breaking ball. I'm sorry, that ball's up. That is not a strike. He took it for strike three, but it's up. So now we here we go with two outs. Runner on first base. Cougs down two. Still not too late. Matt sure the batter. He is the tying run, and he can run one out. So we'll see what happens on the OO fastball. Fly ball right field. Should be caught. And is. So a change of events here at Frankenaga Field at Memorial Ballpark with nine runs being scored, four in the bottom by the Cougars of the eighth and five by Feather River in the top of the ninth. Now it's gut check time. They're going to have to show their recovery. They're going to show their stamina, their perseverance, and their resiliency. And game two will be back in a little while. 